So let's talk about the latest collection and the bags that you must see from Kurt Geiger. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, turn on notification bell. I love interacting with you all, and I really hope you're enjoying the content. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, just celebrating who you are. So, what are we going to talk about today? I just happened to have a little peruse on Kurt Geiger the other day. I have a voucher to use for them, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take a little look, see if anything else has been updated in the sale, see if there's anything new. And oh my word, was I hit with something that now I just cannot get out of my head can't get you out of my head. Kylie. What's it? Kylie has a rosé or is it a Prosecco? A rosé wine. Rosé wine. If you haven't tried it, it's actually pretty good. Anyway, we're off topic. So, Kurt Geiger, what have they released? They have released the most fabulous range of sequin and brightly coloured bags. Oh my word. For anyone who does not love a classic item, who loves a seasonal, who wants to get in that kind of party spirit, these bags are absolute sweet perfection. There are a range of different bags and they are mostly in their Kensington styles, but oh my lord, they are absolutely stunning. The first one that really caught my eye, actually I'm going to come on to this one last because it's my favourite, so I'll probably gush about it the most, so I want to just rattle through the first few. One of the ones that was super cute, wouldn't work for me, but if you're very much into that kind of micro bag, as Cassie Thorpe would call it, TBE, then the Micro Kensington is a great little piece and they do it in the most beautiful rainbow. This is essentially a very, very micro flat bag. I would probably see it as a card holder on a chain, realistically. You could wear it as a necklace, you could have it as a bag, as a shoulder bag if you wanted to. You kind of wrap that chain in there and you could just use it as a teeny little top handle. You know, the world is your oyster when it comes to this. They do it in a range of different colours, but the colour that I was most drawn to was the rainbow because it's just absolutely beautiful and it has this stunning oil slick hardware, which is absolute gold really it's phenomenal beautiful you know you look at some of the other designers that have done oil slick as part of their collections they go for thousands they're considered kind of unicorn bags mermaid bags um and kirk geiger do it on a few of them they have the crop kensington that also has slick um oil slick hardware beautiful it's such a stunning combination but this piece would be really really cute if you were just looking to add a little bit let's say that you didn't want a huge kirk geiger collection but you just wanted a little piece Maybe you wanted to wear it as a necklace opposed to a bag. This could be a really great option. It could be an SLG for you opposed to a bag, but I know a lot of people would like to use this as a bag. Next up, and the style, not my favorite. I talked about this in my previous overview of the Kurt Geiger collection. However, these colors are simply phenomenal. And this is the kind of multi crossbody bag in from their recycled collection. I think this looks like a very cheap variant of the Prada Nylon. However, that's because it is a very cheap variant of it. You know, it's a hundred, circa a hundred pounds. But what they have done recently is they have brought it out in the most stunning colors. So vibrant. There is pink, there is yellow, there is a cobalt, there is orange. This is a great, great item. If you just wanted to inject a little bit of color into your wardrobe and you were good with the fact that it's a little bit of a dupe of one of the higher end pieces, this, which I don't think is a bad thing whatsoever. Um, but you know, it, it's it's taken inspiration from elsewhere ultimately. But just the colors, they are absolutely fantastic. Imagine wearing this, I'm thinking probably a black turtleneck with a puffer jacket, some maybe even like combat-y type trousers, a pair of Timberlands, Doc Martens, whatever your personal style is, throw this on over the top, use this as the pop of colour, that would be absolutely fantastic. This would not work for my wardrobe, but I could see how this would work for so many individuals. I like the fact that you do have this almost little SLG element plus the bag, I think that adds an element of practicality. If you wanted to put your iPod, uh, your iPods, your AirPods, maybe some cash or some coins or whatever it is that you wanted to put in there, some sweets, 
you know, I'd probably put sweets in there. Um, but that would be, that would be a great little, great little item. Now we're coming up to the really good stuff. This would be, this is Barbie gloriousness, this item. And this is the sequin mini Kensington in the baby pink. Oh my word. This colour, the colour, the hardware, everything about this is Barbie glorious. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This would just be such a beautiful way to top off an outfit. It is a showpiece. And the great thing with Kurt Geiger, particularly when they do elaborate um, collections such as this, is the price point. This is about £130. So if you wanted to invest in something like that, but you, want, but you didn't want to worry about cost per wear, per se, you could go for something like this. And even if you only wore it for very special occasions or for very niche events, you wouldn't feel too guilty about it because you haven't spent one, two, three thousand pounds on something that only sees the light of day twice a year. If you spent 120, 130 pounds on it, you're probably going to enjoy it a little bit more. You're going to be a little bit less care, a little bit more carefree with it, not baby it in quite the same way. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying 120 pounds isn't a lot of money because it is. So I'm not saying that in the slightest, but versus what a lot of these items go for, it's quite hard to buy good bags for less than kind of 100 quid or so. So yeah, I think this is an absolutely incredible item. It is quite practical as mini bags go as well because the side, the shape is practical. Um, the flat bag is really lovely. I really love the hardware, the way they've integrated this. I just think it is stunning. And this could also be worn cross body. So I do believe you could also wear this very casually. I'm thinking a jumper, maybe like a white thick, jumper or a cream jumper um, with a pair of light blue jeans, white jeans, pair of trainers, throw this on over the top. You've got a very casual outfit, but this adds an element of spice to it. They do do this in other colors as well. I just happen to really love the baby pink. Now we're moving up a size and we're moving to a slightly different part of the Kensington range and we are moving to the drench range. This is a bag that pains me somewhat because the colour is so incredible, the, the piece is so beautiful, but the size for me wouldn't work and they don't do it in a large enough size. But this blue, this blue, again, in a very similar way to the sequin pink, the way they've integrated the hardware into the colour of the bag, and it's a slightly different Pantone, but it's close enough to show that con continuity. This is fantastic. This is a beautiful item. And I could see this being a bag that you would get so many compliments on as well. I actually saw a lot of Kurt Geiger bags when I was out this weekend. I was in London on Friday night and I saw a huge amount of Kensington bags. Um, and I've not really seen that many before. When I've been carrying mine, I'm sometimes the only person that I've seen that day carrying one, but I probably saw a good seven or eight people with them. And that was really nice. And everyone had a different variation of the bag. I didn't see the same bag twice. and that quite rare because I must have seen about seven caviar classic flaps in black, probably due to where I was, but I must have seen that bag multiple times. I didn't see the same Kurt Geiger bag twice, which was really cool. Um, but this drench is fantastic. Again, you can wear it formally because it is a flat bag. You can wear it cross body. You could wear it with a very similar outfit to what I've just outlined for the peak, peak pink sequin if you wanted to go for something more casual. I also believe you could dress this up very, very well. This with a, this with a tuxedo, this with a jumpsuit, this with a jumpsuit and a pair of five inch stilettos. Chef's kiss. Beautiful, beautiful. How would I wear this? Now, how would I wear this? I would wear this with a black turtleneck, a white blazer, a pair of black tapered trousers, and my black five inch stilettos. And then this, that's how I would wear this, personally. Yes. I think so, yeah, I think that would work. I think that would work. But I think this could look fabulous with a dress. This could look fabulous with a jumpsuit. This could be worn very casually, like I said. I'd also wear this. I have a great striped Lacoste jumper and this could look really good with that as well. I'm talking myself into this bag. It doesn't work for me. The size is wrong, <laughs> but I'm talking myself into it as I'm talking to you about it, which 
isn't a good thing because that's how we make mistakes. That's how we make mistakes. But it's so nice. Anyway, this is a great item. Again, they do this in a range of different colors. Um, the drench, I think, is a great item because you can, and I did see a black drench XL flap, double XL flap on Friday. And what's great is that it has the continuation of the leather color into the hardware, um, which then just adds this unbroken silhouette to the bag item that I have not been able to get out of my head since I first saw it for about the past 48 hours. I saw this on Monday night, Sunday night, and it's, you know, a few days later and I cannot get this out of my head. And this is the double XL flap in sequin. So we talked about the pink sequin earlier in the baby pink. This has more of a magenta sequin and there is a green. The pink is beautiful and I posted this on my Instagram story and the majority of you said it was trash. The majority of you were wrong because this is not trash. This is fabulousness and if you don't understand it, that is on you. This is not a trash bag. This is beautiful. Um, the, but when I've spoken about it to people, they said, oh, but the, the pink is very you. It is, but I'm very taken by the green. I don't own, other than my Longchamp Le Pliage, I don't own a green bag, and I do not own a green bag in this color. This is so vibrant. This would be fantastic, and I would enjoy trying to style this. It would be easier to style the pink. Absolutely it would. However, I think the green, you would have fun with the challenge. And I'll be honest, I think the green's more versatile. For me, it would be more versatile, and I would want to push myself to use it because I have a lot of pink bags. Therefore, I don't need to push myself to use a pink bag. A green bag, I do, because I don't own many. So I hope that makes sense. But this would be fantastic, and this would match my lime green stilettos, which would be incredible. You could also wear this with black trainers. You could wear this formally. Oh, this with an all-black tuxedo. Oh, I'm going to wear a black tie event in a couple of weeks, and oh, if I had this. Oh, if I had this. I've actually stuck this on my Christmas list. I sent it to my mum and I was like, I wouldn't hate it if this made its way to me. Um, she checked the price faster than I hoped she would. Um, <laughs> and it's 250 pounds, which for a bag of this size and this practicality, you know how I feel about the double XL flap. I have done videos on it, check those out. I think it's a very practical bag. I think it's very easy to use. I love the way that they continued the hardware and it's got the sequins, which will add a shimmer effect to it. This is a beautiful item. This would work really, really well in my wardrobe. I think for many people, this would be a novelty. This type of bag wouldn't be a novelty for me because I like to integrate bold. I like to integrate vibrant. So I don't have a classic style. Therefore, non-classic bags such as this work well for someone like me. Um, however, it wouldn't work well for everyone. So just something to consider, but it would be very practical. It's lovely. And these seasonals are always less expensive than the leather item. So I'm assuming it's because of the material, but this is 249, whereas a double XL flap is usually, I want to say 299 or 319. I think it depends on the one you go for, but they can go between 299 and 319. So this is less expensive than the classic than the more classic styles of the Kensington double XL flap um, and back in the day they used to be 24999 was how much a Kensington double XL was in leather they've since gone up so but that's fine um, but this would be incredible and with party season coming you know this would just be incredible I think you could really dress these up you could dress these down they're far more versatile than people will give them credit for I'm really excited about them and I really hope I get to own one and what I'm hoping is that I mean I've decided if I don't get bought it for Christmas and my birthday which are quite close together um I will buy it myself absolutely I'll buy it myself because I'm actually really excited about this item but given the fact that I've put it on my list of I wouldn't hate it if this found its way to me um I don't want to jump the gun and go and buy go and buy it or could I buy myself the pink one and then see if someone buys me the green one? No, I definitely don't need two of them. That would be incredible though. Oh. Goes to show though, financially as well, you could have two of these double XL flaps, which are really practical, really good bags for 500 quid, which considering 
you know, the XL Mulberry Lily that's come out recently, I think it's about £1,300. Yes, they're, they're different brands. Absolutely, they're different brands. They sit in different tiers. But if you're just looking for a big flat bag, the Kensington is a great option. Anyway, I'm going to start waffling about that. I've already talked about that. But thank you so much as always for joining. Let me know what you think of these items. And I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.